one of my favorite fun facts that kind of sheds light onto how much of the ocean is still an enigma is that the most abundant photosynthetic organism on Earth is a type of phytoplankton, cyanobacteria, and it was only just discovered in 1986. So it's, based, it's like essentially the grass of the sea. We couldn't, didn't even know it was there. Isn't that insane? Okay, wait, I have another fun fact. You can't just be a biologist and study ocean organisms. You can't just be a physicist. You have to be thinking about chemical oceanography, physical, geological, and biological. And that's why I think it is absolutely one of the coolest fields to get into. We have mapped and know more about the surface of the moon and Mars than we know about the bottom of the ocean. What I've mostly been focusing on and that a lot of researchers at conferences that I go to, they're really interested in the role that marine phytoplankton and bacteria that are also in the water, what role they play in the global carbon cycle. A lot of scientists, myself included, are trying to figure out in what marine environments, coastal versus open ocean, deep sea, how those ba the bacteria are breaking down that organic matter and recycling it. We live on Earth and we're pretty lucky to have this like amazingly perfect so far planet in terms of oxygen and the amounts of nitrogen and the temperature is like pretty much just right in a lot of places. And oceanographers are trying to figure out what role the ocean plays in making like Earth livable. And especially we kind of need to figure out what's happening now because the climate is changing. And so before things get too different, like what, what, what are just the basics of what's going on right now? My name is Wilton Burns and I am pursuing my master's in oceanography at the University of New Hampshire and I just finished my first year there and um, last summer I taught a marine biology course at the Duke Marine Lab for Duke Tip and this summer I'll be teaching oceanography there as well.